A virtual operations center can be a game changer for hospitals, offering a centralized and technologically advanced location for managing patients remotely. At Houston Methodist, a team of intensivists and critical care nurses monitor patients in multiple ICUs and across the health system using real-time data in high-resolution video feeds. To understand how this new approach is helping patients and clinicians, we met with Dr. Sarah Pletcher. Broadly, we're trying to accomplish what everyone's dream is, right? We want a better experience for the patient. We want a better experience for our care teams. We want a better sustainable performance for our health system. So I'm thrilled to be able to show you our virtual operations center. You're going to see that there's lots of teams, lots of technology, lots of screens. So I'm just going to orient you a little bit to the teams that you'll see as we'll walk through. We have many service lines here at Houston Methodist doing virtual care across our eight hospital system. Those those include neurology, psychiatry, ICU, nursing, telesitting, there's a bunch of them. Hello, it's Ken, Virtual Intensive Care Unit. I'm just coming in there because I noticed the blood pressure was a little low and I wanted to make sure that was accurate. What you can see here in our in-person operations center is just scratching the surface. We have a broad team of physicians and nurses and other staff members working from home at workstations. Wow. All right, I see you readjusted the blood pressure cuff and that blood pressure looks uh, good for the patient. Thank you. You can see from all of these monitors, they're watching the electronic medical record information. They're looking at our monitoring software that's looking at trends, algorithms. They're able to camera into the room and actually evaluate the patient. I'm just doing my hourly rounding here. and I'm always just reviewing some data on your chart. I just want to check in with you and see how you're feeling. Right, right. So the level of awareness in real time of what's happening with these patients across the system is a powerful way that these teams can support the care at the bedside. What are they doing that's different than the nurse that's on the floor or that's in the room? Well, of course, it's complementary, so they work together in a team. Mm -hmm. So they're obviously not doing hands-on care, um, but they're watching trends, algorithms, alerts, and they're able to bring those to the attention of okay. the bedside. And if the bedside team wants to reach out for an additional set of eyes, they work together. You can imagine if you're a newly graduated nurse out in a community hospital at night, feeling like you're on your own, and in the operations center, there might be several nurses on with 30 years of experience in a specialty area. You have a whole team that you can reach out to to ask for help with your patient. You got a lot of screens going on, Steve. How, how do you manage it all? Yeah, so it's all uh, coordinated uh, and structured in a manner where it allows for scaling of a large group of patients to be monitored by a single clinician. Uh, mm -hmm. And the experience that Dr. Pletcher just mentioned really helps them hone in on certain you know, areas of concern. We have another program at Methodist where patients that come in to be admitted put on this little wearable button yeah. right on their Let chest. Let me see that, the bio button. The bio right? button, the yes. Bio button. So it's collecting mm -hmm. vital signs at the minute level and flowing yeah. all that data into just monitoring software. Here. Exactly, you just put it on like a sticker. I like it. And that's allowing the teams to watch every patient in every floor across our eight hospitals. So to be able every to, patient ultimately that comes yes. to the hospital is gonna have this on. That is, wow. that is what we're moving towards. We have uh, 12 units up and we're rolling out as fast as we can because we mm -hmm. can see the power yeah. of this level of insight. Mm -hmm. So where we can take tasks off of the bedside or the care team um, and do that virtually and still have it be a great experience for the patient and the provider teams, um, we're leaning in to really move um, progressively in that direction. And you see that in yeah. visiting us and seeing all of our service lines that are really helping us achieve best quality care, um, but leveraging these technologies thoughtfully. Mm -hmm.